Hi, this is Chef Ciao Bello, cooking for blocks. Now today I'm gonna make a lasagna. It's your favorite. So what we're gonna use some butter, because now I'm gonna make you something delicious. This one is called bechamel. Now we melt some butter, okay? While the butter me melting, I got lovely hot milk in here. I prepare a nice hot milk. Plus, I made a bolognese sauce. It's not ragu, it's bolognese. Bolognese means it stays eight hours on the stove. Right? So this is chilling, it's by the window, because it's very hot. We got the butter in meltdown, okay? So the butter is melting. And what we do with the butter, we got flour. And with the flour, I'm gonna make a fantastic roll. All right, so we don't need the butter anymore. Off we go. With the hot milk, we got the flour. And we work with the flour. Beautiful, beautiful. Now the flour, we amalgamate with the butter, and we create this. This is called roux. Right? And now bit by bit, bit by bit, you work with some milk. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a nice consistency. It's all about consistency, guys. Still basic, has to be nice and thick, has to go dripping at, at the back of your spoon. You understand? So you do a bit of the time. Beautiful, beautiful. Guys, look at that. Look at that. Look like mashed potato. But we don't want a mashed potato consistency, alright? It has to be a little bit more liquid than that. But not like a milk thing, so it has to be something in the middle. So this is working very well. We don't need the flour anymore. Plus, we don't need the butter. All we need is to let work this fucker. This is what you call white sauce. This is nice and well. Right? This is beautiful. Just beautiful. So turn the stove off. I'm gonna pour salt. I'm gonna touch some salt. Alright? Now you can finish with a touch of nutmeg. But having got nutmeg, I'm gonna use cumin. Cumin is good. It's got a spicy flavor. You know what I mean? Because you need something robust with it. Something nice and robust. This is robust enough. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin. More than enough, just a little bit, a teaspoon, or a teaspoon of uh, mm, beautiful guys. This milky thing is beautiful, beautiful. So what I wanna do? I wanna open this somewhere so it can chill. Okay. So say we put this one in a plate so it can chill enough. Done. 
beautiful, perfect. This is just perfect. It was five minutes, but it's well spent five minutes. Now, guys, let's build the lasagna. We got everything, we got the papers to have a fantastic lasagna. So we got the bechamel. I left my kitchen, it's a complete disaster. I don't even want to show you. Alright, I need to clean a little bit. this we're gonna turn the oven on so we're gonna find the oven nice and hot we got our tray here's the tray we're gonna put a little bit no extra virgin but olive oil just a little bit just a little bit for the base all right and you can go with your fingers without tissue you can use a tissue you just spray it all over all right so what we need now is spoons loads of spoons so we have spoon for the ragu which is beautiful look at that guys this is a beautiful thing look at that look at that look what i'm all right we have cheese loads of cheese we got the lasagna we don't need the spice anymore we got pira moretti why not Now it's time to build our lasagna. So, this, we're going to go. And we're going to lay our So, you finish, you do the base, you start to do the base with a little bit of oregano. Just peel the base. So, nothing major. Just something like that, alright? So, you got your pasta. This is your background. Start to work with the shit of lasagna. Alright. So, enough shit. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Perfect. Now, as a base sauce, we're not gonna use this, but we're gonna use our ragu. A bit bonnet. Look at that. Two and a half big spoon of that. You got your base ground down. Try not to leave space. Try not to leave gaps. This is beautiful, guys. This is beautiful. All right. So you got your first layer. The first layer is nice and done. Beautiful. I like this. You will love this. So. What we got? A second base. We don't need much lasagna, guys. Alright? One packet it should be more than enough. I took two just in case. Now, our second layer, that's our bechamel coming into the picture. We put some, look at that, guys. Nice. So we drop this one around. So you spread it, you spread it like cheese, like a mashed potato, like when you're making, um, say, um, a shepherd pie or a cottage pie. So you spread it. That is more piping, but you know what I mean? Here we go. Now you got the cheese, you got the mozzarella. You got lots of mozzarella in here. I'm going to use this one as a base. Look at that, guys. <coughs> Look how nice and cheesy it is. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, lots of cheese. A nice spring, especially around the borders. Alright? Because mozzarella is in the middle, we melt it, we go throughout. So beautiful. That's what we got. Done. Guys, this is beautiful. What do you think? So far, we start. Yes. Now, another layer. Okay. Now let's pull this. Beautiful. Beautiful. Guys, 
to do is like I bring I bring for pasta eaters, for lasagna lovers. Let me use a little bit. Why not? So the color is done. Now that we did this, I'm gonna make another layer. It's almost it's almost finished. I love it doing it. I just my things well done. Alright? So we don't need much. One in there, one in there, one in there, one in there. So we try to press here to put volume down. Okay, because we want oh yes, nice, nice and compressed. I hope you can see me. So here we go. Some of this. The chamel all over. And like you did before, you spread it. Okay, nice and spread. Beautiful. This one. Guys, we almost finished. Okay. You see how many layers are this so far? Now we still finish with cheese. We put our mozzarella everywhere. We got the set of cheese right on top. Look at that, guys. Spread the roll out nicely. Done. Alright? Look. Look at that. Look at that, guys. And finally, we're gonna make our final step. Press it over, because now everything else has to fit on top. Alright? So press it over, press it nicely. Done, well done. Look at that. Now we're gonna put all our tomato. The deal is done. Alright. So spread it nicely. Try to cover all the corner. I know, it seems lots of pasta, is lots of pasta, but it's a lot of sauce as well. You know, lots of sauce, so you need lots of pasta. Okay, you got this and you got that. Beautiful. Now, with them, um, you put everything. Last layer, you put everything. You put a little bit of this. You put a little bit of that. And you finish like that. Nice. You got your white sauce. Perfect. You spread it. Make sure it's everywhere. Okay. Nice and creamy. So you got both of the two words. And you're finished with loads of chips. Try to cover the pasta. Look how beautiful it is. Finish with a mozzarella everywhere. the cheese see more or less we used everything now most importantly a last but not least our parmesan that's what the final touch we need on it look at that guys this is a beautiful lasagna I'm gonna press all over I'm gonna make sure everything is nice and covered Look, guys, it is beautiful. So cover all your gaps. Simple as that. And this is your lasagna. The oven is ready. It's 350 degrees. But now, look, look, I was about to forget. You almost let me forget. At the beginning, cover it. Because we want the pasta to cook, so it's covered, it's gonna cook right here in the middle. The, the lasagna, you need like 20 minutes. So the last five minutes, take this one off, so the top, it become a little bit hard, a little bit gratiné. And now, you can put in your hot oven. And this is all from Chef Fabrizio. Please subscribe, new recipe that I'm about to come. 
Deus a lasagna. Ciao bello.